hello, hello. It's been quite a while since we checked in, probably a month ago. Not even that long. Three weeks ago. When we were waiting for our inventory. We're waiting for, no, we had some of our, did we have some of our inventory? We're waiting on LuLaRoe. We're waiting on LuLaRoe, so I can't remember if we had half or all of it. I think it was definitely, but well, we did not have all of it yet. We ended up um, finally getting it, and this is not here behind us, but we, we got our inventory and launched the next day. Well, no, we had we had the inventory. We got the okay from the other on Friday. And we launched the next day. And we launched the next day. Um, we launched on a Facebook Live group and a Periscope Live group, a page, um, and actually we're our Pretty goal good. was what? I was happy to sell one. Right, but I think we were thinking <laughs> like ten would be awesome. So we did a lot better than and that. And we sold twenty. Twenty between Periscope and Facebook Live, and then we did a. Leggings roulette also, which helps right, us. Right, which got us almost 10 more sales um, because we had those awesome black leggings, so we used them to our benefit and yeah. people were excited to play. Um, so that was within the first three days. Yeah. Of I mean, we, we launched on Saturday, we had everything shipped out. We did have everything on shipped out. Monday that was morning. Pretty smooth. So, I mean, a little hiccups, but mm -hmm. we got through it. And then through the week, we had just some random sales. We did a good one. Yeah, we went live. I went live on Periscope twice. The first time I think I sold like two things, which hey, that's why I'm happy to sell right. one thing. Yeah, or just couple, just get a couple followers every time I go on. Um, and then the second time we went on, we went on together and nobody was coming in. I was kind of like wondering why. So I went on another device and searched row and our broadcast wasn't popping up. So I don't know if it was the algorithm set up through Periscope. That's or what the deal like, was. We're kind of learning through right yeah. now. Yeah. So. Get found. So we didn't sell anything that time, which was fine. Yeah. Um, so then, on Friday, so almost a week later, we decided to do what we, we did. We had it planned to do a hostess party on Facebook Live, mm -hmm. and then we would do album sales to follow. And that worked out pretty well. And that worked out pretty well. Um, we sold another about. Ten oh, items through that, but then we had a couple friends and family come over and shop for that party. For that party, getting us to probably yeah. close to 30, 30 items total. Yeah, so, so basically, for, sitting at our first week, we've sold just about two thousand dollars and about sixty, 60 items. Pieces. So we're pretty cool with that number. Um, we would like to see it at a thousand dollars more. Would be the goal per week. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, qualify qualify. We could sell three. Um, we did make an order, so we launched on a. Friday. Launch on Saturday. Launch on Saturday, and we made our first order on Monday. Um, the goal is to make at least one order a week, but two orders a week. Yeah. So we'll be placing another order tomorrow, tomorrow morning, Monday. Monday. Um, and our hopefully our first actual inventory. We, we bought the inventory from other consultants. The well, first box from Lula Rail will be to us on Tuesday. Tuesday. So that's kind of exciting. To go through that box. Yeah, to go we don't know what it is. We haven't seen any of it before. It was still kind of like that before, but we kind of had an idea. This is all brand new stuff. So yeah. That's exciting. Um, we are actually um, looking into finishing off the, um, before we switch to the new system, um, where we can't enter inventory manually as we are now, looking at purchasing another 350 items from the, one of the consultants that we um, purchased from. So that would pull our inventory almost immediately to over a thousand pieces. Yeah. So that would be cool. Um, that's still kind of in the works this week. We'll see what happens. But um, aside from that, our main goal right now is to bring in Amelia's. Right. Yeah, so each each purchase, we first one we kind of just filled some holes. What we sold filled some holes. Our next purchase, we're going to start purchasing our next style that we're going to be building, which is going to be Amelia's that we'll be introducing. So what we'll do is we will order like one of every size every time we order. Yeah. And once we get up to around seven to ten. I think we we'll will, launch it at five or six. Five or six. Size. But ideally we would get to seven to ten. And then we'll launch I the don't want to hold back that dress for too yeah. much of the dress season. The hard part's going to have to wear extra sizes than what she wears because she's going to clear True. up the stash. And actually that's what's coming in the last on Tuesday. Thanks for Can I get it? Woohoo! Um, I'm just looking at my notes here. So, what are um, 
kind of like things are growing pains that we're learning and kind of working through to share I'm, a couple things. Yeah, but like the, cha yeah, the challenges of the first week. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, not even so much the chat. Well, he has a challenge that we definitely had, but I was just going to kind of talk about maybe things that we didn't realize. And I think, I mean, I knew how much people had talked about how much in home parties or hostess parties were the most beneficial. Beneficial to growing your group and beneficial to your business and how you just tend to do better when you have the product physically in front of someone. Um, that's going to be the, probably the most challenging thing and the thing that we need to push hardest on to keep the momentum because. I think we had a pretty darn good first week, but I wonder how that rolls out in the weeks to come without working what LuLaRoe calls the 72 hour game plan, which basically getting it's 50 games you're supposed to come up with um, to kind of go through every time you don't have you know, your month booked through. And that laid out in front of me seemed like, okay, that's just what I'll do, but then when it comes time to applying it, because it's a little scary. Her, yeah. I mean, it's hard. I mean, not hard for me I come from a male perspective to like push on ladies to like throw a party and stuff like that tries. and I try a little bit and especially through my work and stuff like that but so that kind of falls more on her lap and her sales mentality is not the like hundred she's never been in sales or anything like that so she doesn't like to push people and stuff like that so I mean that's understandable but I think we'll get there we might get it get there in a non-conventional way I think it's way, just practice but, I have to be used to saying it and I mean obviously all out. you can say is no but like I think it's I can hear no from a stranger, but hearing no from your friends is a little bit more difficult. Not even because that would hurt my feelings. I'd be worried that they would feel pressure because we're friends. So that's where um, that's what we plan to put in place, like right away. That's our main focus: is to basically work the 72 hour game plan and figure out how to get hostesses, because um, everything's going to grow from there. Yeah, and some, I mean, some other challenges, like logistics-wise, that we faced in the first week was. <laughs> Inventory management. We went with a system that we thought was going to be good. I won't mention any names. Switched to another one. Didn't like that one. And then we went to a third one. So we were like re-uploading our pictures and all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of we, work. Yeah. So we found one that we, we like so far. It's not perfect, but it's manageable right now. Right now we're on the old bless. We just got our debit card. So hopefully we switch to the new bless soon. That's a whole nother inventory management. Inventory system. <laughs> management system to like the. So we are fourth inventory management system. But everything seems to be flowing fine. Learning how to use everything it was a little bit of a challenge, but once you put in a couple orders, it becomes like second nature. Um, also, the challenge is not changing up your routine. This is something new, so we have to set schedule time yeah. to sell Lula Row and stuff like that. And right now we're kind of like. Oh, okay, daughter's in bed. Yeah. Let's try to hop on for an hour yeah. and sell before we have to go to work because we both still have full time jobs that we go to. Which has been kind of, it worked out for the first week because we're, and, and still are like so gung ho about it that we can like every oh, every definitely. night. So, like every night, it's like, oh, do you want to sell tonight? And that's all well and good, but that doesn't give people an idea of when we're going to be. You have to be consistent. Right. And then scheduling time. I don't know, I've just never been good about scheduling anyway. It almost feels like if we schedule it, I'll do it less than if we didn't schedule it, but we have to schedule it. So that's something I have to um, decide in the coming weeks. And just, I don't know, it, it's, it's taken a lot. I mean, we choose to come back here and spend time back here in the little room and in the office, like getting stuff done. And it's really, it probably won't take as much time once the learning curve is not so curved. <laughs> but, um, but, I don't know, it's been a benefit to, um, well, aside from Easter weekend, happy Easter, by the way, today yeah. is Easter, 2017, um, we're not snacking. <laughs> <laughs> Our extra time is spent doing Lily Rose stuff, so. Yeah, so we're like, back for all the time, not sitting out on the couch, like, eating, spending the faces, so, yeah. that's cool. So, that's basically the gist of it, there's really not a ton to say, but we, we wanted to check in for ourselves to have this to look back on and see where we were at and what we were thinking at the time, and. Um, just to kind of share with anyone thinking about LuLaRoe what um, what the journey is like. So um, now that the steps here, because our entry to LuLaRoe was so unconventional, we didn't have the, you know, we wanted to get vlogs up before about various topics, um, but it just didn't really work out that way because we didn't enter it. We were kind of just waiting, 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 when's it going to happen? And if it didn't happen, then we'd have to go in the queue. And, it was just odd. So now that we are, we want to do lots of things, lots of various videos of um, uh, supplies that you would need or supplies that we didn't need that we got. Um, you know, things that we find most useful or helpful. And 
um, maybe break down some of those inventory management systems uh, for some people who are <laughs> yeah. looking for things. And this can um, maybe give you a tutorial of the one that we are currently yeah. using now. Yeah, because supposedly the, um, the new Bless is going to be kind of the way to go and we won't need to use any of that and hopefully, ideally, that, that's how it goes. That'll be everything will be that all we need that it to one. Be. Um, so, in which case everyone will be on that and that'll be a good thing. Um, but yeah, just everything. I actually would even like to do the um, the starter kit, which I actually also have on the floor. I'm looking at that right now, but they're going to send me a brand new one that's mine. Um, for, so I think I'll pop on real quick to show you guys the starter kit. Um, but just various topics. We want to kind of just walk our way through this so that anybody um, kind of going through this too. I know that I've been a uh, serious like YouTube university for yeah. a little while. I mean, I, it, it's, it's on, it, it's on YouTube. Um, I'm, I've found it. Um, and I've definitely found a favorite. We've found favorites yeah. um, of various people to follow. So I don't know, it's fun. I'm just going to do that for somebody else. So our short term goal for hopefully this next couple weeks is going to be hosting an in home pop up. And we'll let you guys know how that goes, and we'll check back in. We'll have various videos, and we'll check back in in a month and let you know how our numbers and stuff are going. I think, well, unless something amazing happens, yeah, we'll check in in one month. At least we'll we'll talk about numbers videos, and stuff. Right, the topic yeah. videos will happen yeah. throughout this month. Unless something amazing happens at one of these pop ups, and then we'll have to share yeah. that. But I guess that's it for now, and we'll check in in at least a month, maybe. Yeah. All right. All right. See Thank you. you. See. Bye.